Hey guys, Rich here at RC Informer. Once again, got Steve on the camera. Uh, today it's a little bit of a test flight day for us. Um, we've been working out the uh, FMS 1700 millimeter Corsair, as you guys have probably seen in our prior videos. Um, be sure to check those out on the channel. Uh, again, I will put them in the upper right hand corner of this video at that information card that you can click on. You can drop down that menu and you'll be able to see all the other videos in the series because we did do a full unbox assembly. Uh, set up pre-flight and uh, we did one with the stock motor. We put um, the 360 kV motor on it for a little more performance um, uh, And then we went ahead and we did an ordnance flight as well But the more I thought about it with this airplane and the size that it is I said to myself It seems to be more like it's an eight cell airplane because it's big and and it has a huge battery compartment So here's what I did just for another power option for everybody um, I went ahead and I put the stock 300 kV motor back in the airplane okay and I replaced the speed controller with something that will handle 8s which is really simple in fact FMS has a really nice 120 amp speed controller that will run 6 to 8s um, and it, it's real easy to you just basically take the prop and motor or prop and cowl off and you can just feed it right through just replace the speed controller it was really a drop-in change and probably any 8s speed controller will work just fine um, and Steve and I are going to test that for you today here, folks. So we're going to see how this does on eight cells. So, um, and we may try some other uh, power combinations. So um, um, what we did is we just figured that with the 300 kV motor, the factory said it was okay to run that on 8S, you know. So we go from 25 volts to 33 volts. So we up our RPM by another 1,000 RPM. And hopefully the prop will handle it okay. I ran it on the, my driveway and throttled it a lot. And prop seems to be okay with it so you know it's always possible you know it could come apart but I don't think it will I think it's uh, it's strong enough to do it so we're gonna test that for you guys here today and if it turns out to be a good viable eight cell system we'll, we'll uh, you know we'll get the factory in on it maybe that's uh, something they can change out but you can see right here I went ahead and put in here uh, two Admiral there are 5,000 or 4s 5,000 I think they're 60 C's or 50 C's I'm not sure uh, 50 C um, and they're just stacked on top of each other and you can see in the battery compartment um, there's tons of space in here and that's the that's the beauty about this airplane I'll turn it around Steve so you can actually get I think inside of it um, can you see it better there Steve like this yep can you get in there all right yep this is an eight cell battery compartment the battery compartment is massive in this thing and uh, putting these 5,000 packs in here didn't seem to change the CG on us at all. So, and in fact, if you have a real heavy, like a 6,000s or something, and they're a little taller, um, you can probably even take out some of the nose weight, but it, the balance seemed okay, so we're just gonna go with it. Um, we plugged it in, we're booted up, ready to go. Um, but you can see how much space there is. We even have some regular eight cell packs, full eight cells, single packs that we can put in there. And we'll probably try that out as well if it works okay. So, Steve, you ready to rock? Let's roll. All right, let's let's go with it. Let's give it a run up and let's see how it sounds. It sounded good at home, so let's see how it is uh, uh, all set up here. So uh, let me make sure one more thing. I did tighten that before. Yep, we're good. Yeah, let's run it up. Throttles on. Safety's off. <coughs> sounds a little mightier, doesn't it? Much better. So let's see. Uh, let's see what we can do with eight cell on this baby. Uh, a quick flight control check. Right, left, up, down. I'm in mid rates on everything. Left, or sorry, right, left. And uh, let's go, Steve. We'll uh, drive her on out. See what we got here. And we got a bit of a wind here, so we got a little crosswind. So if we have to land diagonal wise, we'll do that. All right, here we go. Taking off. Easing that power in just a little bit. I'm about half throttle an hour. Easing the power in. I'm gonna go straight up with it, Steve. You ready? Yep. Yeah, it definitely's got some power now. All right. That's power off. Oh yeah. Oh, it sounds a lot better, doesn't it? Yep. Uh, we're gonna go into the wind here, full throttle. This is headwind here, so. You know, we'll have to come out on a smoother day to really test it out, but that's just barreling into the headwind. But you can hear the props really moving. Now we'll go on the downwind. Let's see what it does. Yeah, you can just hear that prop really turning some RPM here, so. Yeah. That's I mean, the way of course it Yeah, is. I mean, it definitely has so much more power, I think, than it had before. And, you know, we're turning an extra 1,000 RPM 
on the uh, on the, uh, the mathematical RPM anyway. You get the right mix there, Rich. Yeah, I mean AS is probably where again I'm going into the headwind here, folks. So we have quite a bit of a wind today. I'm backing off on the power a little bit here. Let's let's bring it down. Yeah, that wind is just powerful here today. Woo! Yeah, I mean it's. I think it's an 8S airplane, man. I really think it is. Um, Got the room for it, for sure. Yeah, I mean it's uh, it's definitely got the got the power for it. Let me get the gear down. Yeah, it's uh, that's just a wind beating me up. You can hear it growl when it goes by. I mean, it definitely has more power. All right, let's see. Let's get it on. I got no flaps in. I'm just going to land it without flaps here because we are really fighting a serious wind here. Bounce that right in. That's great. But uh, Steve, film the windsock there over there so people can kind of get an idea what we're... Yeah. I mean, it's pretty windy out here and it's gusty, so we'll come out on a, a smoother day eventually here and give you guys a, like a better, uh, a better flight demo, but... After doing a little bit of running around, the sun kind of, we lost our sunlight. That's perfect. <laughs> Let me, uh, <laughs> give me a second here. Let me check my battery. Let's see what, what we've burned. I don't have an amp meter or watt meter or anything on it. So, and of course I forgot it over at the bench. Uh, Steve, give me a second. I'm going to hit the safety. Okay. I'm going to run right over there. Let me grab the, the meter here real quick. And we can edit this here later if we have to, but hang on. <laughs> I forgot the meter. All right, I think I did this in the last video. I forgot the meter. I'm getting to be like James in Motion RC. I keep forgetting the darn thing. <laughs> Let's see what we got in this battery, just to double check. We'll check them both real quick. Uh, I'm at 72%, so we're good there. Checking the temperature on everything. Let me check the connections. I think when I did the bench test at home, I was pulling like 90 amps or something. So I was actually drawing less amps, but turning more RPM. Um, so I really think 8S is the way to go with this plane. Um, plus, uh, the way we got it set up now, you can keep that stock 300 kV motor in, you know? So, uh, let's see what we got. Uh, yeah, 72% also. So we're good. Let's go some more. Uh, put this all back down in here. It is windy out here. Alright, man. Well, let's go. Safety is uh, safety's off. Let's plug in. All right, let's do a takeoff and kind of do what we did before, Steve. I'll go vertical with it again. All right. Just to sort of test the. Yeah, see, I can still turn away from the wind. All right, here we go. Taking off. Full power, going straight up, gears coming up. I'm just gonna go vertical with it, Steve, and see how long it'll go up there for. Honestly, it'll keep on going up. I'm gonna power it off, Steve, let it fall. Hey, you can see it falling there, yeah. But yeah, I think this is an eight cell airplane for sure because it's got the size for it the 300 kV I say that's not bad into the wind I mean we're just battling that wind yeah I mean heck it, it maneuvers so much better I went to a high aileron right here come by fast yeah much better on 8 cell just awesome holy smokes yeah that's real nice now Full throttle. Right around the windsock. Again, guys, no stabilization in this. I'll probably put a reflex V2 in here eventually, but even in this heavy wind. Yeah, I mean it just it just has much more punch, flies with much more authority now. Yeah, just awesome. And it's a big model, so it'll handle the wind nice. 
Yeah, I'm definitely gonna recommend to the factory to make this an eight cell plane at some point. I just think it's definitely the way to go. You can hear it, Steve, can't you? Oh yeah. I mean, it sounds like it's winding up. Not too bad, but but it, it sounds like you would want it to sound, whereas before it just sounded a little, little anemic. So the beauty of this too, folks, is with this uh, speed controller, the 6 to 8 s 120 that you can find at fmsmodel.com, is you can fly this airplane 6S, and then you can put an 8S in it and still fly it around without any problem. So uh, you can now do it on both. So. Uh, but yeah, look at that, man. Just awesome. Yeah, this is a day that if I did have a stabilizer, I might switch it on. <laughs> so, because it is, it is beating it up a little, but because it's such a big model, it'll handle it. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, very cool, very cool. All right. cool very cool yeah this is not a day normally I'd be flying with all this darn wind but again just to give you guys a sample of this thing on 8s it's awesome all right let's see yeah it's cool man be sure to check out the other videos guys we got on this airplane we got a lot of them I do not want to strike a bird today <laughs> I'm gonna come down with one setting of flaps power is about half here it is windy, man. Nice. Yeah, there's a little save there. Yeah. It's, uh, I, I, I'm interested to try that Reflex 2 gyro in this. I think that'll be pretty cool. Let me do one more battery check and see what it is. We ran it pretty hard. And again, folks, that's on a set of 5,000, 4S5000. Uh, so you can go 6, 7,000 or whatever you want to go in this thing. So, um, Let's see how we are. Connectors are still good. I don't. It's just kind of lukewarm. Let me uh, let me check the batteries and see what we got. And uh, let's see. Um, yeah, we're probably down at the end of it now. Let's see what we got. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Just another step to do when you get older. Let's see. Uh, what do you think, Steve? Twenty-seven. Twenty-four. Very good. 24%, so uh, that's just awesome. Now, one thing to note about this setup too, that's pretty darn cool, is if you use two four cell 5000s, um, like I'm using these Admiral packs, um, notice that, Steve, can you see the straps okay? Yep. Okay, notice the straps are fine for this. There's plenty of Velcro to attach it to. If you go with a thicker battery, you're probably going to need to lengthen the straps. And I think, Steve, that's what we're going to do next. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to go back to the workbench, put a little bit longer strap, and put like a taller battery in it, and fly it that way. So let's head back to the bench. Let's do that, and we'll get this thing back out, and we'll do uh, one more flight on it. Okay, guys, me and Steve got this thing on the bench. We got it set up for an 8-cell pack. I just want to show you the difference. If, Steve, you want to get right over here. Um, we're trying this out again for the first time today, but this is the setup that we had in the airplane just now. Uh, notice I went ahead and I put a little bit of uh, shelf liner between the two so they don't really slide. So any 4-cell packs that you have, if you put them together like this, they're going to stay, stay together real nice. Um, I went ahead and I made up my own um, you know, Y harness for them to put them together. But you can see how that compares to a single 8S pack and depending on the thickness of your batteries and in particular you know these Admiral 5000s you can see the difference here in the thickness of the two and these Admiral 5s with the, the thickness that they are and the weight that they are in fact they're 400 here well, they're 448 grams each okay and they fit together real nice um, with that shelf liner but you see this is a, a Turnigy Nanotech 5000 and you can see how much thicker it is and it's geez what's the weight on this darn thing it's probably uh, probably I, in fact I put it on one of these batteries but I think it's about 900 or a thousand or something but anyway bottom line is is if you're using two four cells it's a lot thinner okay and probably a little more readily available and um, you don't need to change the straps the straps that we used um, were just the stock straps that came with the airplane okay which were were these 
if you can see that. So if you can find a longer strap like this, which you probably can, then you know you can use it on, on these batteries. But anyway, it worked fine on the two together, but this one we needed something longer, and I didn't really have a longer, you know, strap like this with a little catch. So what me and Steve did is we took some of this stuff, okay, which you get over at uh, you know Lowe's or Home Depot or something. And um, what you can do with that is uh, what we did right here. And using a Forstner bit, I think that's the proper term, but I could be wrong. Steve, if you can get in on the battery compartment, let me lift this up. We just did this on the bench to try out the, the big 8S pack, so you may need to get a little closer. Can you get down in there okay? Okay. See the holes I drilled? I pulled up the battery floor at home, actually, or pulled up the, uh, the, uh, uh, the shelf liner. And I put two holes in there so we could feed new straps through, because without holes in the floor, it's really hard to feed those. So all we did was feed these two through, the, these together through here. And uh, now we can take a taller battery. And, you know, so you guys can really see what this thing, how this thing goes in there, you know, with a single 8S pack. And you can do this again at single 8S or two four cells or whatever. But just to demonstrate how this goes in there, I'm going to write the airplane here a little, Steve, so I can get uh, get to this. We actually, actually, you know, let me go back a little bit. We actually backed off the battery off the front floor floor we actually pulled it back just a little bit so both straps would fit under it okay and then we're gonna go fly it here so um, use any strap you have but just understand that if you have a tall battery okay you're gonna need probably a little more strap than what came with this so uh, with two 4s's probably not really a problem um, but you can see how nice this all straps down. I'm going to tighten this up and then Steve, I'll, I'll kind of zoom back. But with the, the nice thing is, is we might be able to in the future here remove some of that nose weight we put in in one of the earlier videos because this 8 cell is a little heavier for sure. So we may not need all that nose weight. But you can see the end result here. I'll kind of tilt it up here, folks. And you can kind of see how nicely it fits in there. Now we made almost no modification. I'm going to keep talking, Steve, while I go get... <laughs> <laughs> well, the wind is so strong here, guys, that everything's blowing away on us, so I had to secure my canopy cover over in the car here because it's just blowing all over the place. I made one tiny mod. So if you have a tall battery, you know, here you can see you may have to cut a little out. Just using a hobby knife here at the field, I just, you know, cut this out because I needed just a hair of clearance here. And in most cases, you won't. I didn't need them for the two four cell 5000s, but you might need just a hair, a hair of clearance, but you can see how deep this battery compartment is, both down to the bottom and forward and um, you can see the the compartment you know goes on there absolutely perfectly so anyway this is really a well suited airplane i think to run you know eight cell or six cell and you can run your eight cell as a single you know if you have eight cell chargers and stuff um, you know or you know these two two four cell you know packs together i also have some four uh five, six thousand uh, packs as well that this airplane will easily easily carry so uh also there are videos out there that you guys could check out too as well you know if you get a if you decide to go with an eight cell you know um there are separate eight cell chargers and sometimes these have two connectors on them um, and there's videos out there that show you how to make it into one connector and the nice thing is is these new um, spectrum checkers and stuff they're all designed for 8s so they're starting to come out with 8s chargers so you can see how big this connector is you got that okay steve there you can see how nice together you know you can get the full full gist of the whole uh you know the whole uh all eight cells on this darn thing so uh, the reason i have this extra lead um kind of what i was saying before is is that normally there's two leads coming out of this so you can two five five wire leads is what it is so um so you could charge basically two four cell it's sort of you charge it two four cell you have to have an eight cell to do eight cell charger to still to do it but you can remove one of the red wires and i just put this one separate i don't do anything with this and that allows you to use a single you know a uh, nine lead balance adapter so you know you can charge it with a with an with a uh, you know with an eight cell charger like this so it's kind of nice and convenient to convert that and again there's videos of that uh, out there on the on the internet and i on the youtube and I, I might make one too in the future here but uh so that's the deal you guys can run this how you like and steve uh i think what we're going to do is we're going to plug this baby in there and uh we are going to get out there guys and um you know just give you a demo uh, with the full, just one, just single eight cell pack. So Steve, you ready to go? All right, let's get it out there. Okay, guys, we are back out here with the uh, s uh, with the eight S pack in here. Another advantage uh, is like they're using a lot of these uh, XT90 connectors, and uh, that's what the battery has on it. So we're just gonna plug this right in. Let's see, gears down, flaps up, motor safety's on. We'll plug it in. 
Let it boot up. There we go. It's all booted up and ready to go. All right, let's plug this. I'm going to dump. I'm going to try to put this back. Nah, that's not going to work. Get this connector down in here. All right, that should be good. We checked the CG. We're good. We're about the same place. Uh, actually, it was a little bit far forward. So, and again, like I said, we shifted that battery. As you can see back there, we shifted it back just a hair. And uh, we might take some of that nose weight we put in uh, that put in there earlier. We might take some of that out. So, quick check here, right, left, up, down. We're at mid rates on everything. Flaps are good. They look nice. Let's do a quick run up here. See how it is on the 8S pack. I've actually never, have you ever run an 8S pack? No. I never have either. So, this is. Yeah, it's pulling pretty hard. This is a, um, in fact, I've never run this pack before, so we'll check it after a couple flights. Um, geez, this is a 65 to 130 C discharge, so, so, and that's the wind windmilling the prop. That is not the motor turning it, so. <laughs> All right, check out the windsock again there, Steve. Yep. Yeah, it's pretty darn windy, so here, I'm not, I'm not, look at this, watch, look at the prop. See, I'm just letting it go, and it's, wind is turning it, so. It's pretty windy. Not the best day. Like I said, we'll get out here on a calmer day. Give you guys a little, you know, calmer demo to get a feel for really the power of this thing on eight cell. So right, left, up, down, left, right. All right. Taxi it on. Al. Nice thing is this model is heavy enough that even with this wind, I can turn it around. Taxi it well. All right, here we go. All right, taking off. All right, full power. Gears up. I'm going to go straight up with it, Steve. Yeah, I wish we had some more clouds for reference, but yeah, it's going right on up there. That's definitely a Corsair now. All right, let's bring it down. All right, I'll get a little farther out there for you, Steve. There we go. I'm about half throttle now, coming to full, into the wind. Man, it really sounds like it's ripping better, doesn't it? Yep. So if you see the prop suddenly fly off, <laughs> you know it's because of the 8S. So, but I think we're okay. That's full throttle on the downwind. Yeah, that that roasts. Uh, we really got to get this out on a calm day so we can really demo it well. Um, you can see it in calm, calm conditions. So, again, full throttle here into the wind. Break away here. That's the wind beating me up here. Yeah, it definitely has a lot more power. Once it gets on that down one, look how fast it's going. Let me back off a little bit. I'm going to put some flaps in. Oop, that wind, uh, see, uh, see that tailwind catching me? Yep. Holy smokes, it is really windy. So I'm going to do a little into the wind slow flight, not too low to the ground because it's just, it's just, it's just very windy today. I mean, it's just beating me up here. All right, full throttle going straight up. Flaps going up. Yeah, it climbs right out. It's got some good power now. I think, Steve, this is an 8S plane with this uh, motor or, you know, with the 360 and 6S, so um, not bad. Let me get the gear down, one setting of flaps, land it out front here. Power's coming into about half. I need a little power with this darn wind today, so yeah, a little bouncy, but I'll take that. Drive it on over here. It slows to a crawl with this darn wind. I mean, it is... It is a ton of wind. Let me hit the safety real quick. Let's do a quick check of the battery and the connectors. Make sure we're not overheating anything. No, it seems good. Connectors seem okay. Yeah, I mean, they're not warm, not even warm. Uh, let's put this, uh, plug this in. What do you think, Steve? Uh, 72. Uh, Nice, Steve, 72. <laughs> it was 71 and it just clicked up, so yeah. You know, the other thing too is, is when I put this on the watt meter the other day, um, whereas with the 30, uh, 360 kV motor um, and the six cell pack, 
it was drawing like 92, 93 amps, I think. With this, it was drawing about 90, so it was like a couple amps lower, you know what I mean, on the 8 cell. Yeah. And also, I did, I don't know if I mentioned it, I did put this on high timing. I took the speed controller, I programmed it to high timing. So, um, you know, mathematically, 300 times 33.6 uh, volts or whatever, I think it came out to be about 10,000 RPM. So, so with the 6 cell pack in this thing, um, um, with the 300 kV motor, I think it was like 7,500 uh, RPM is what it was. We upped the timing. I think it went up to, I don't remember what it was, 8, 85 or 9. And then when we put the, I'm trying to remember, then we went to the 360 kV motor in low timing. It was like 9 or 95 or something. And then now with this in there, you know, with high timing, with the 300 kV motor, you know we're at uh, we're we're at about 10,000 math mathematical RPM anyway. So we've kind of run it all up there. As it unloads, it kind of gets to its sort of true RPM. So, um, but uh, yeah, let's go up again here, Steve. Uh, flaps are up, safety's off. But yeah, we'll get it out again, guys, on a calmer day, so we can give you a little more realistic flight because we're going into the wind and you kind of see what it does there, and then we're going downwind and it's just hauling butt. So. Uh, all right, here we go. Taking off. Easing that about half power, right rudder. Full power is coming in, gears coming up. I'm just going to go straight up with it. I wish we had some clouds so you could see what this is doing, guys, but it's just vertically climbing without really wanting to stop. I'll power back and I'll just let it fall, and those will just drop point straight down. And you guys can get an idea what it's. Uh, it's way, way up there, so let's bring it on down. Definitely, I like this on 8S, but yeah, I gotta get it out here when it's smooth, Steve. So we'll do that next. Hopefully, Steve will get his Tiger Cat going. Yeah, <laughs> we'll bring them out together, you know what I mean, when we got a calm day. Coming by hot. Yeah, I mean, it's, <laughs> that tailwind got me there a little. It's definitely a better airplane on 8S, I think. I think that's what this needs to be. 300 kV motor, stock motor. Just a slightly more powerful speed controller that'll handle an 8S pack. I put this on high timing, and it performs fantastic. This is the way this, is the way this plane ought to be flying, so really nice. And again, folks, you can run this on 6 or 8S with this uh, speed controller. I'll try to put a link in the description, and I'll probably put a picture up here somewhere, maybe on the screen here while we're doing this, where you guys can see um, the speed controller I used from FMS. It's a new controller that they have. It's 120 amps. We don't need that much, but I mostly needed it because it's a 6 to 8S speed controller. So. Real nice, really nice. It just sounds like a racing plane. Somebody said they wanted the uh, wanted this in an F2G, you know? You know that red and white racing plane, Steve? Yeah. yeah. Um, na now you can do it with this, for sure, and have that kind of power with it. Do a top side pass here, presentation. Yeah. I'll get more aerobatic with this, folks, when it's a little calmer out today. It's just, just so windy here. But it's, it's just, holy smokes, it's awesome on this. Let's get the gear down. Yeah, that wind is just having its way with this thing. But it's a big bird. I mean, you can fly it in this. Touching down. We're playing on those wheels. You go all the way down to the end of the damn runway, yeah. Gear up. Yeah, it is so windy. Doors are still coming up. Yeah, man, this is, this is it, Steve. Holy smokes, I think we got it. Looks good. Looks good. Yeah, I'm digging this. So, probably we're gonna get a Reflex 2 gyro in this. One of the FMS ones. I'll do a download of their, uh, you know, their parameters, their gains on it, and we'll, uh, we'll probably do that in a future uh, video here and show you how that works in this plane. This plane doesn't need the gyro, doesn't need the stabilizer for sure, but you know, I'm gonna put that uh, in here just to kind of see what it is so I can report on it to everybody. And I like it because you can turn that gyro off. Yeah, man, this is nice now. Holy smokes. All right, Steve, I'm bringing it in. Gears down, flaps are at half, or takeoff flaps. Yeah, that's the wind beating us up. 
But again, it's a big airplane, so. Flaps coming up. Yeah, not bad for the wind, I'll take that. All right, let's drive it on back. All right, guys, we uh, do thank everyone for watching. See, Steve, I can even turn with this tailwind. The plane's heavy enough, you know? Yep. Look at that prop. That is outstanding, isn't it? Yep. Th this is the Corsair to have, for sure. On 8S, it's just killer. Um, anyway, guys, uh, if you guys want one of these, check it out in our links below in the description. And uh, we do appreciate it if you use our links. It does support our channel. And uh, check us out on Instagram. We are putting up posts every single day, so we do appreciate you guys checking in with us. And... Uh, Awesome, awesome. And please, guys, like and subscribe. Uh, oh, and I forgot to say, yesterday, Steve, I don't know if you know, we just hit 20,000 subscribers yesterday. Oh, cool. So we're going to be doing a giveaway. Uh, Guniac's going to be giving us an afterburner or so to give out. Uh, Horizon Hobby has already said they're going to give us a plane to give out to you guys as well. So stay tuned. We're going to get that set up. I just got back from Top Gun. We've been so busy with stuff. Um, uh, but we'll have some giveaways, probably have something from FMS too, and we'll just check us out on the live shows, and we'll be doing, uh, doing more of that. So um, anyway, guys, we do appreciate it. Once again, uh, like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so when we got new videos out, because we're putting new stuff out all the time, uh, hit that bell so you guys get alerted when the new videos are out. Steve, any, any, any last words, any final thoughts? That's how a Corsair is supposed to fly. That is how, yeah, it's much better now. And it never really hit me before, you know, the original version of this airplane had a smaller battery compartment, but this thing is huge. So, you know, you could put two, two four-cell 6,000 Admirals in this or whatever. You could put big battery. I mean, look at this, look at the size of it. Look at the space in this darn thing. I mean, it's got so much space. I mean, the battery compartment, I didn't need to trim anything except for just that hatch lid because this one was a little thicker. So this is an eight cell bird, man. This is awesome. I mean, this is outstanding. All you need to do really is just change the speed controller. So, um, but yeah, this is, this is fantastic. I'm really, I'm really digging how this, how this is. Let's check the, uh, just for heck, let's check the batteries. Uh, let's see what we got. What do you think, Steve? Talk to me. 28. Uh, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Steve, what you got? Man, 27. <laughs> if I wait long enough, it'll probably jump to 28, <laughs> and you'll be right. So, uh, yeah, right on 27, man. All right, very good. All right, guys, once again, thank you guys very much for watching. Steve, thanks for filming. Again, like, subscribe, hit the bell. We appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned. Steve, as always, thanks. Folks, we appreciate you watching, and as always, guys, we'll see you all next time.